Hi everyone, so welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be showing you my first Sylph Arena faction battles. So this is the inaugural um, season of the Sylph faction. So it is quite new to all of us. So I will put all the information on the screen so you can check it out. Um, so in summary, the Sylph Arena faction is a 7v7 team format. Um, so seven players face against seven players and they each do three battles um, and each team members have different roles so my role is the master league specialist so here i'm going up against the opponents the opposition's team master league specialist so we have a show six pick three format um, so as you can see i don't have um, all my pokemon to level 50 so i've only got two and the opponent actually has a full team of level 50s um, except for Tokus. so at, right away i'm at a disadvantage because all my cps are quite low but um but that's fine we'll just see what happens then okay so i have locked in my three pokemon for match number one so i'm leading with gyarados and i have metagross and landers in the back so we have a Gyarados mirror. Now, as you can see, that my Gyarados is actually 300 CP lower than theirs. So I'm expected to lose this matchup. So I'm just gonna go straight for the crunch. No need to bait. They don't shield, so I'm not gonna shield either. I can survive this. And I do go into red, and they do swap out the tokens. So which gives me the chance to win switch, and I can just come in the metagross, and I can afford to farm a little bit more. I go for the medium mash and KO and they do bring in the mute so I do overcharge a little bit which is risky because this could be a shadow ball but I do call the base and not shield I go straight for a medium mash and this does massive damage against a level 51 Mewtwo and I can I'm gonna go for straight for the farm down and just shield this move and I have a medium mash ready for the Gyarados that comes in and let's see if they want to burn the shield, they do. So I can just come back in with the Gyarados and I do have Aquatel banked. I just go straight for it and I burn the second shield, which is perfect. Now they do have a little bit of energy, so I do want to bring back in the Metagross to soak all this energy. I can just let this go. And then the landers can just come down and just farm down the Gyarados and the Mewtwo for the win. So for match number two, I'm gonna stick to the same team because you know I've it's done me well in the match number one, so I'm not gonna change it. And I'm not gonna overthink, you know, what to change and what not to change. Um, I do like the core of Metagross and Landris in the back, which gives me a lot of options if I do lose the lead. And because I can come come in and farm with either of them and them, either of them with the energy advantage is quite dangerous so we'll see what happens in match number two just waiting for my opponent to pick the team So we have Gyarados into Machamp. So this is a neutral matchup, even although the counters are resisted, but the rock side are doing super effective. So I can just go straight for the Aqua Tail and does quite a bit. And here they are charging up a little bit of energy. So I'm gonna shield, um, and I do call the bait correctly. Uh, they do get another one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna double shield and be very aggressive and just farm it all the way down and they have a Gera so I can just go straight for crunch and I should be able to get to a second crunch before they can throw and I don't want to switch out here because um, I want them to throw some energy at my Gyarados which they do and this is I'm in a quite bad position so I'm gonna come in with the Metagross and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and catch the crunch on the Landers and hopefully this is a crunch which is neutral it's a super effective aqua tail and i do catch it they come with the, the excadrill so i'm gonna go straight for the bulldoze no need to bait 
and they don't shield so that one shots KO the Excadrill and they can go for the rock slide and this will get the last shield and at this stage like one crunch from Gyarados won't KO my Metagross so I've more or less had this game in the back so I can just go for a meter match and take the win for game number two Okay, so I'm currently 2-0 up in this match and we're going into the third match and I do want to try and win the third match because I do want to guess, get as many points as possible for my faction. So what I'm going to do, so he's going to um, presume that I'm going to stick to the same team but I'm actually going to change it. I'm going to go with my champ but I'm going to stick to the Metagross and Landris core in the back. And we have him a champ against Gyarados. We have the reverse lead of match number two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay in. And as you can see, I'm not running cross chop. So I'm gonna go straight for the rock slide and see if they want to shield. They don't shield, that's amazing. So we can just counter down and that gets Gyarados to the red. So we can tank one Aquatel, so there's no need to shield. And because we're at the rock slide, we can just shield and just throw the rock slide. And see if they want to burn as a shield as well. So they do, so here I want to switch out the Metagross because I don't want them to farm me down and they, they have a Machamp so this is okay for me, the cross jump won't do a lot and this Meteor match will be doing a lot of neutral damage. Yeah, and I can just farm down and let's see what they bring in, they bring a Dragonite so I can just go straight for the Meteor match even though this is resisted it still does a lot and it does get the final shield. So it looks like they're trying to farm me down but they're not they're, they're gonna actually show the energy which is perfect for me so i can come in with a landris and i'm anticipating i'm anticipating them swapping out um so i don't want to hit the charge move when they get it and they do try to try to catch it so i'm quite patient there of not throwing the move and here i just want to bring in the machamp and just KO this Gyarados and i have a rock side ready and landris wins cmp against dragonite and this will be KOing the Dragonite and we take game number 3 as well. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, so I will leave a link to the Sylph Faction website in the description below. So do check it out if you like it. So yeah, see you next time.